Hey you guys, it's William Colling from Weebly Vlogs. And I'm Freddie. We have just come from the grand final of Melody Grand Prix we 2024. Have. It was incredible and we've got to talk about it. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> And you guys, we're gonna keep it short. I think I have a horrible cold. I'm down with something in the Tron time snow, but I am loving it here. But we're gonna keep this brief. The winner is Goethe with the song Ulvahamen. They topped the televote, and this is what gave them the win. Kaino topped the jury vote, and so it was so close in the end, just a six point difference. Let's first just react to Ulvaham, the song from Goethe. Freddie, you go first. Yeah, uh, going into it, I didn't love the song, um, but I think when you're in the arena, it's the support behind them was huge. huge. The vocals were so strong. So it's hard not to get really swept up in that. It was yeah. very exciting. It was very powerful. Um, yeah, that's generally my kind of overview of it. I'm not disappointed that they are going to Malmo uh, and w have won tonight. Um, was I supporting other people? Maybe. This is a solid act. And, you know, we put it fourth in our video uh, ahead of the final, um, and that's respectable. But I think when we saw them live, at least when I saw them live, it really elevated. I was like, I get this energy because everyone around me was so into yeah. it. Like you said, they were radiating. Oh, my gosh, this has to go. Um, I think it's definitely the domestic choice. But as we saw with Tix back in 2021, or is it 2022? It's 21. 20 yeah, Rotterdam. Um, sometimes the domestic choice doesn't do as well at Eurovision, but that's okay. Like Spain last year did quite poorly, but they were very proud of their act because it showcased local yeah. flavor. So like the result doesn't necessarily matter. Our readers are very split on our website. Like mm. people are saying, oh, this won't translate. Others are saying Kaino could have gotten you pan-European support. I mean, there's so many opinions. There are as many opinions as there were songs tonight, but this is a strong winner. That lead singer she can sing. There is just so much power. Um, she looks sweet, but she's a beast inside. And The Rock, I really love. They'll get Nordic points for sure. Oh, absolutely. Finland are getting the 12 oh. points for sure. I think, yeah, no, she's brilliant. She's a solid vocal and that could do very well with the juries. Um, I don't know, William, do you think they'll de they're a definite qualifier? Yeah, yeah, they're in semi-final two. They're in semi-final two. Semi-final two is like the semi-final of countries that typically struggle to qualify. Um, Which is good. Yeah, yeah. Norway yeah. is, you know, pretty solid year to year. Plus, this is very effective. Like, it's just effective staging, but I'm trying to divorce myself from being in the arena because mm -hmm. we felt the energy. Like, on TV, did it come through? Well, they won the televote. They were huge favorites in Norway, but will that translate with the European televoting audience? Yeah, it's interesting. I think they definitely have to work um, a little bit on telling the story through the staging a bit more. I think the song doesn't immediately connect with an audience in the same way. This is why the comparisons with Spain from last year are, are good, because it doesn't exactly connect with the audience directly. So I think they'll have to tell the story that way. Um, but the vocal is strong, I've got to say. Th these comments, I don't even want to... Ooh! There's just so many different comments where, where people express concern. You can read them for yourself. But I think, look, they've got a master vocalist. They've got an idea. And I think it, this will be a discovery for many people. I want to talk about Kaino. Kaino won the jury mm. vote. And this is a 60-40 system. So last year, I, 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 they would have won then. They would have yeah, system, yeah. 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 Oh, it's really interesting. They yeah. were disappointed and I felt really bad for them. Yeah, I mean, also, Gota haven't um, even confirmed whether they're definitely going. That's still all to play for. I mean, there is a slim, but there's still a chance that kind of could actually end up on stage in Malmo this, yeah. uh, this spring. Um, but yeah, no, so close. That just shows, that's just testament to the strength of Kaino and how good the song was. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think she slightly missed her top note. Just a little. But, uh, just a, but you know, I don't know if that would have changed anything. I don't think, probably not. And I don't know how many people noticed, to be honest. We only noticed because in the rehearsal, yeah, we'd, we'd seen, seen it. it perfect. I think I think probably Norwegians just felt like they'd had their time and they wanted something new. Yeah, you know, this is a democracy, y'all. Um, this is on the Weebly Blogs website. The Voice of Reason says, not sure how this will do in May. Sometimes says, can't believe Kaino was that close to winning. The song wasn't that good. Amazing song, well done, says Tom. 
Melissa says, for all the people saying Gata will withdraw because of Israel and make it about politics so Kaino can go instead, the entire group of Kaino has expressed the exact same opinion as Gata on considering withdrawing if they had won. Lampa says Kaino was robbed. Azuro says, and the Blanca Paloma Award for services to ear doctors across <laughs> Europe goes to... Okay, I am not... That, no. <laughs> Look, point of story is people got a lot of opinions. And that's what you want. You want something... Yeah. You always say, you want a risk. You yeah. want a risk at Eurovision. Yeah. Actually, Kaino, I said this to you in the dress rehearsal, they are actually the safe choice. Because they've done it before and they would do well. They're oh. definitely people pleasers. I would please people, maybe not people pleasers, the wrong phrase. But um, uh, uh, Goto is definitely a risk, and go for a risk. Yeah, gosh, the, the Goto lighting is very effective. The laser at the beginning mm -hmm. and like kind of how they fill it. Um, oh, I, I'm actually really excited to see how this does. Yeah, yeah, I, I could go either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it is different enough from everything else we've seen so far that it will stand out regardless. Do you know? Yeah. Um, I want to read one thing, though. This this keep, kept coming up. Euro... Oh, there's a lot of Euro... Wait, Euro... Fan... Oh, here we go. Euro... Fan... This is Azuro. A certain niche of the Euro fandom. They don't like anything in English as it's too mainstream. They need to prove how edgy and cool they are by only liking things they can't understand. Yeah. Okay, that's one take. Okay. Um... Kent, not a fan of Norway's choice. I just don't understand how people think this is a Eurovision winner. The allure of the Nor Norwegian language in ESC, maybe. Vocals are screechy and unstable. No, 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 I disagree. The That's vocals are very true. strong. In my opinion, this ain't anywhere close to winning the jury and won't resonate with televoters. I think the vocals could do well. Juries, televoters might be difficult. She reminds me of Bjork. Yeah, the vocals cool. really remind me of Bjork yeah. so much. That kind of uh, tone to it, yeah. And they're so different and out of the box, just like Bjork. Yeah. One thing I will say is there are six people on that stage and only one of them is performing live because that's just the rules of Eurovision. And I, yeah. I always find that a little bit naff at Eurovision. Oh, here's some positivity. Marsan says solid entry. And I totally agree. You know, ju just because an act isn't your favorite going into the final doesn't mean you can't kind of enjoy it, like it, come to love it. Yeah. And it's memorable. No. You know, you're going to remember that in the recap. You're going to be like, oh yeah, that was Norway. Yeah. When, they, when you hear them. Absolutely. I will look forward to doing a reaction video when I'm over this cold and watch it live with better com better insights and more commentary. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you happy with the results of MGP? Let us know here on Weebie Blogs. Bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>